And we begin tonight with the intentional breach of a levee in northwest Pottawatomie County. The van man number 30 levee is what this is called. It's located just north of the Boyer Shoot Wildlife Refuge, southeast of DeSoto Wildlife Refuge, and east of Fort Calhoun. KTV News Watch 7's Natalie Glucklich live with more on this developing story. Natalie. Todd, so far emergency management in Pottawatomie County has seen no damage as a result of this, but they have fielded plenty of phone calls. They're making it clear tonight neither they nor the Army Corps of Engineers blew up that levee. Water flowing from the Missouri River has been filling these farm fields in northwest Pottawatomie County all week, ever since one levee gave way. The local levee board has worked to protect these fields, building up another section of levee against the rising river. Instead, when the levee broke, the board's new efforts instead trapped the water in the fields. For a week, there have been discussions with local government to lower the new levee with no clear answers or response. Then, today, about 10, an explosion. First of all, we had nothing to do with it. I'm not aware of any official body that had anything to do with this. You know, the Army Corps of Engineers didn't do it, the DNR didn't do it, the county didn't do it. Matt Wilbur is overseeing Pottawatomie County's response to flooding. Someone then went back in and basically breached that levee, blew it up so that the water that was pooling there is now flowing back down uh, the Missouri. The new hole in the levee, somewhere beyond these floodwaters. A local levee board controls it and may be the only authority who could open the levee. But local officials say if the board authorized today's explosion, they'd appreciated a warning. I, I personally think we probably would have done what we could to, uh, to prevent this um, you know, from happening just because you don't know. I mean, who wants to be responsible if something bad happens? But for those watching their nearby fields flood, there was some understanding today about an effort to save the crops. The 180 acres that's underwater now, and there's probably a, the rest of it, which is 120, there's water in it. You know, the corn is just big enough, and, and it was going to be, you know, a pretty good, obviously a very good crop, but now it's just, just a shame. According to the Pottawatomie County Assessor's Office, ordinarily trustees of, lev of a levy district have control over the levies in their jurisdiction. The county attorney will investigate to see who is responsible for opening the levy and if there were permits obtained for the explosives. Todd? And Natalie, there's no definitive word again as to who is responsible for this, right? The county attorney says it's too early to say, but that he has a number of people he'll be speaking to. Our efforts to contact members of the levy board have been unsuccessful. All right. Natalie Glucklich, thanks very much.